Hello and welcome to Mintflow Academy. This is our JSON in 5 minutes tutorial. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it is a data representation format that is heavily used in web development. The reason why it's so heavily used in especially web development where we see it as the data uh, object format that has been transferred in APIs but also used in config files for example to configure a web application server files or similar uh, configurations is because it is for humans very easy to read and also to write and similar to uh, machines it's also very uh, easy for them to pass read and generate uh, write and it is of course based on the uh, a subset of the javascript programming language standard so the way that json uh, works is that there is a certain type that you can use and a json object is divided in a collection of name value pairs we'll see an example of this uh, in, a, in a second but the type that you can use uh, in json is a string which we have an example of here it's normal when you program you will know what a string is then we have a number so that is a number of representation for example uh, 10 and 30 right here it can also be uh, decimal numbers, then it can be a JSON object, meaning that uh, a new JSON object that is put within an existing JSON object. We'll also see that uh, in the example of the next slide. Then we have arrays, which is uh, a data object that can consist of uh, several values, also a very popular uh, data type uh, within programming. Then we have the Boolean that can take two values. So a Boolean is either uh, true or false. Uh, and then of course we have the null value, which an example here is null. So this is the type that you can use when making a valid uh, JSON object. And as you see, there is uh, almost uh, no uh, limitation on what you can put in because uh, text formats, you can put them in strings, all numbers, decimals in numbers. If you have a new object, you can put it in here, you have arrays and you have booleans and you can even use the null value as well. But Let's see how this works with this name and value pairs. So this is an example of a JSON object. So we have these outer uh, clauses here, which define the root uh, JSON object. And then within we have these name value pairs. So the name is the name of the uh, variable and we have the value, which uh, is the value of that name. So when you send this, and you want to read this uh, in, for example, an API call, you can just call the value of the video title and that value will, in this case, be test. And as mentioned, it is very easy to read because it is divided into these name and value pairs and it is very organized when you see it in uh, interpret like this. And here, there is uh, the, we, we have used uh, different data types. So the first two here is the string. Then we have one Boolean. Then we have uh, the categories and this is utilizing uh, an array so this is actually an array meaning that there can be several values within this array and the values that is actually put into this is the json object so remember here you could use json object within an existing json object and that is what has been done within this array so this array consists of uh, zero to many json objects and that new json object in here is then a string that uh, has again a name and a value and this is basically how this uh, simple JSON object uh, is divided and next off we have here that we have the uh, material types and that is again a JSON object so not an array but just a single JSON object that is using the name value pairs so this is more or less uh, the basics of JSON objects I hope you have uh, gotten a, a, a fundamental understanding of these using this five minutes tutorial and then I hope you will like and subscribe and then I will see you next time here on Winslow Academy.